Greetings. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank uh, all my subscribers who donated uh, or pledged money to the making of uh, Brian Banks' documentary film. You know, I just checked, and as of the making of this video, uh, 25th of June 2012, he's got three days to go, and he's in excess uh, of the um, the amount that he he needed or it was needed to uh, reach the benchmark. It's at the last time I checked, over a little over 43,000. He needed 40,000 and uh, three days to go. So I think it's really great. I'm particularly impressed and happy and pleased that. I'd like to think that we, in our own small part, contributed to hopefully him, him making or having that film made about his story, um, because even if it's not directly what I would call a men's rights uh, film, it's certainly something in the right direction. I don't know how what the film will be like or how the events will be portrayed, or, but I think people will watch the film and get uh, a sense of just, well, how messed up the system can be, or rather is, and I think indirectly it's it will shed light on uh, the, the male situation in society. So, yeah, so I'm, thank you to my subscribers. I really appreciate you trying to help Brian Banks out. I think his cause is a worthy cause, and that's why I pledged the little money I could, and I really hope that he gets back on his feet, and I do hope that the NFL accepts him. I'm not an American football fan at all, but I, if that's what he wants to do, I hope so. I only hope, my only concern for Brian Banks as a person is that he, he, that he first learns the lessons from what happened, that if you should, if, he, if it's the case that he's able to join the NFL and be a successful American football player, that he be aware of those lessons. Let, don't let him, I hope he doesn't fall into the trap once again of, uh, well, the, the possibility that something might happen like this, or in the marriage trap as so many athletes, star athletes have. I hope it doesn't happen to him, but we'll just have to wait and see. For now, for now, it's very good that he was able to uh, meet the benchmark that he needed to uh, proceed with making the film and uh, so I'm very happy about that but tying into the Brian Bank story I thought I'd make a video about what is often termed no no strings attached sex um, I'm doing this because I've seen a bunch of comments uh, for a number of weeks now fairly random but frequent nonetheless on this idea that you know no strings attached sex is actually a legitimate concept that is to say uh, one gentleman wrote something to the effect of you know if I don't need to make any effort and uh, don't need to do anything really and I can just have sex and why not well my personal position on these things I, I prefer non-engagement I, I personally do prefer the principle of abstinence but I'm not a dictator, and I think men should do whatever they want to do. But I do want to illustrate the possibility, not necessarily the fact, but certainly the possibility that uh, no strings attached sex in possibly could be a misnomer. Now, in most cases, I suspect the idea, the no strings attached sex, your random one night stand where you get your rocks off, yeah, there are no real consequences to that. Um, most of the time, it's like that. However, I'm not talking, never mind, let's not even talk about so-called intimate partner uh, risks, that is to say, you know, someone you're actually, a woman you're actually together with. But let's consider for, for a moment the possibility that you might end up in a situation like Brian Banks. You might think it unlikely, and it probably is, but it still could possibly happen. You might be in a situation you consider no strings attached, attached sex. And of course, he didn't have sex with the, uh, the female. But you might be in a situation where you have sex and you consider no strings attached. And um, for whatever reason, and this has happened, of course, fem the female feels bad about the decision she made and maybe she, she re regretted it or resented you for who knows. And this has happened where she will uh, make a false rape allegation uh, directed towards you. 
It's entirely possible. Not likely, but it's certainly possible. So your no strings attached attach sex can become a uh, sex that had a whole lot of strings attached to it indeed. Something to be aware of. Um, another thing is the issue of sexually transmitted diseases. Now, you might be wearing a raincoat, a condom, but that there are many sexually trans transmitted diseases that uh, do not, that a condom cannot protect, protect against. There are various forms of herpes, for example, um, among others, others. So, just another illustration that knows, and that, this is not me preaching absence, I'm just trying to demonstrate the possible dangers that, no, that perhaps we should abolish the, the, at least the term of no strings attached sex. Um, if you want to get laid as much as you can, I encourage you to do so. It's your life, and if that's what makes you feel good, then go for it. But these are possibilities. Uh, maybe you're in a, a, a fling or a fuck friendship. I know in the past I had some of those, and there's this idea that you know you just meet up, you hook up, you have sex, and that's it. Once again, you might be using a raincoat or a condom. It might break. I mean, it's possible. In fact, I had a friend I've lost contact since with, and uh, his condom broke, and the next thing you know, his ex-girlfriend, well, well, at the time, girlfriend was pregnant. Um, and that really just turns everything on its head now, doesn't it? All I'm trying to say here is a word of caution, that the idea that there can be something such as no strings attached, I think most implicit in that is the idea that you don't make any effort. That's pretty rare, but it's, it's possible, certainly, just to be able to get access to, uh, to female sex without making any effort. But the question is, what arises afterwards? What could happen? Uh, I'm not doing this to scare anyone, just saying, as, as a man going your own way, be aware of the possible consequences. Um, you know, we're, we're all desirous of having sex with women, but uh, apart from, in the most cases, the headaches involved in getting access to it, or, you know, if, we, if you indeed find a case of so-called no-strings-attached sex, it's something to consider, or well, STDs, um, condoms breaking, but also the very real possibility uh, that you, someone might, a female might charge you with a attempted rape or rape, even when no such thing took place. It's entirely possible. Um, and believe me, once the cry of rape has been uttered, um, it's uh, well, it's a little difficult to reject um, because ninety-nine percent of society is going to believe the female, not you. No matter how much evidence, well, no matter how much you might pro protest, now could use DNA evidence and what have you, but problem there, for example, is if you did have sex with her, consensual sex, um, you know, and their sperm or what I mean, ha evidence, what have you, I mean, th that's not going to show anything one way or another. Um, so these are just things to be aware of, aware of in the, in, in, in the light of the claim that you can actually have no strings attack, attached sex. Yeah, some, usually it happens that way. You, get, you can get, do a one night stand, get laid, no worries. Hell, I, I have had a few fuck, ongoing fuck friendships in the past, in you know, the last couple of weeks maybe, where for the most part there weren't any problems. Uh, I mean, real problems to speak of. But uh, you never know what might happen. Uh, like I said, I had a friend, his condom broke, and then he was dealing with a pregnant girlfriend. A pregnant girlfriend who got very vindictive and vicious after she found out she was uh, pregnant, for whatever reason. Just things to bear in mind. Uh, no strings attached sex. I don't know if that term should even be used or is applicable. I think there are all, always dangerous possibilities of, uh, of some sort of strings being attached. And as a man going your own way, I think you need on an individual basis to be aware of what those risks are. STDs, uh, broken condoms, false rape allegations, you never know. Um, 
it's it's simply not uh, not possible to know what may or may not happen. Um, most likely, nothing will happen. But I think caution is in order, and uh, just be aware of what you're doing. And at the end of the day, that's uh, all I really have to say about that. No strings attached sex. I think there are always potential strings attached at the very least. Just be aware of the risks. All I have to say about that, uh, and thanks for watching.